My name is Joe Dennis. I'm a mental health counselor. I'm a trauma specialist. Over the past decade, I've worked with thousands of therapists, CEOs, coaches, uh, many other professionals to establish the life they want to live. This means transforming their income, their relationships, their business, many, many different areas of their life. Before getting into this field, I had an earth-shattering experience. It changed everything. Uh, it was honestly, it was a typical night. I mean, given the typical night kind of sucked. Many years ago, I was plagued with these, what I now know are flashbacks. I'd have these haunting experiences that would shake me awake in the middle of the night. On this particular night, I couldn't even get to sleep. That insomnia was running rampant, and my room was lit by the, this red glow from my clock. I remember I turn over, and I see a steak knife sitting on my desk that was for my dinner. And in that moment, all these images just flashed before my eyes of how everything could seemingly be solved by picking up that knife and just making one swift movement. It seemed like there was clarity and then there was silence. My friends, my family, consulting with multiple religious leaders, reading tons of self-help books, nothing had helped and there was silence. That knife seemed to be the solution to the dissonance that had become my life. It seemed that it would fix everything. And in that silence, I had this profound realization, this statement. It was, ah, oh, hell no. <laughs> I was not about to let my life be ended by a moment of weary decision-making. So I dropped the knife. I went to my computer and I looked up a list of all the mental health counselors in my area. I thought, it's either this or I keep living these unending nights. So let's fast forward a bit. I've been meeting with my therapist for months. She's diagnosed me with this thing called PTSD. That's right, it's not just for war veterans anymore but I'm kind of getting frustrated with treatment. And I remember one particular moment, I turn to her and I say, why won't you just tell me the thing I can do to get over this? She said something that made every nerve in my body stutter. It's not the event itself that sets you on a particular course. It's the meaning that you make of it. So you've got to make a new meaning and I can't give that to you. I can't give you the solution, but I can help you find it. You must search for it. You must become the solution. I became a blank canvas, and she helped me recreate the life that I wanted to live, one meaning at a time. She helped me find my voice and create that reality I didn't even realize I had wanted. I'm still driven by the desire to help and make this world a better place. And I'm still a complete nerd who loves his research. That said, I'm free of insomnia. I don't have flashbacks. I don't get panic attacks anymore. PTSD is gone from my existence. I am in a life I have designed, one that I want to live in, one that I'm thrilled to be part of. In this moment, you have two choices. Just like in my room, dimly lit with the red light, you can keep doing what you've been doing and pray that something will change. Or you can try something different. You can give up your ego. You can create a life that is so powerful that everyone around you will be inspired and moved within you lies a powerful, unshakable force that can't be moved. But here's the problem. You can't find it on your own, and it can't be given to you. 
You are the one that must find it. You are the one that must search for it. You must become the solution. My name's Joe Dennis. I'm here to help guide you so you can become the solution.